As I mentioned, there's going to be more than one integrated rate equation we're going to learn. We're also going to learn the zero and the second order in addition to the first order. So let's talk about the zero order integrated rate equation. Once again, just like in the first order, we're going to handle a simple case where we're talking about just A going to products. Okay, which means the rate is equal to K times the concentration of A to the zero power since it's a zero order. Or another way of looking at this since A to the zero is one is just equal to K. We're going to learn our equation in the Y equal to MX plus B format, okay, which is the following. Concentration of AT is equal to a negative KT plus the concentration of A0. Now what I want you to do is look at this, this equation and compare it to the first order equation and what do you notice is the difference. Exactly, we drop the natural log. It looks exactly the same except we drop the natural log. They both got the negative slope and they both have a t and a zero in the same spot. We just drop that natural log. Now since this is in the y equals mx plus b format, we can draw a plot, which would mean that on my y-axis in this case would be concentration of a times t on my y-axis and on my x-axis would be t. And since it's a negative slope, my line will slope down, okay? And the slope of that line will be equal to a negative k. And the y-intercept would be a zero. Now, if it's a linear, if I draw this plot and I get a linear plot, then that would mean that I have a zero order overall equation. Okay, if I were to draw this plot and I got a curved line, that would mean that it's not a zero order. It's only going to be linear in one of the plots. So, for instance, say I did a plot of my natural log of A versus time, and I got a straight line, then when I did my concentration of A versus time, I would get a curved line. It would only be linear in one, or vice versa. If I get a straight line in my concentration of A versus time, then I would get a curved line in my natural log of A versus time. It's only going to be linear in one of them, so I can do these two plots as well as a second order plot. Whichever one it's linear will tell me the overall order. Now the one thing you've got to realize in this is there's no way to tell what are the units on the K. So you either got to memorize them or figure them out goes back to what we talked about before. We know it's molarity to the n time to the minus 1, and we know that n minus 1 is equal to the negative overall order. Well, in this case, we're saying n minus 1 is equal to 0 is the overall order, or negative 0, which is 0. So then n is equal to 0 plus 1, which is equal to 1. So the units will be molarity time minus 1, okay, which makes sense because rate is molarity per time, and the only thing I have on the other side is K, so it has to be molarity per time. So my units on K would be molarity per time. You either memorize it or be able to figure it out, okay, because there's no way to tell by the plot. Once again, important to know units on K because it could tell me which order to use and also definitely tell me which all the units on my slope for my graphs. Okay, let's talk about the second order integrated rate equation. Same thing, simple simple expression of A going to products, which we know rate is equal to Ka to the squared is the rate law. Well, we're going to set that up as Y equals mx plus b, and it comes to the following. 1 over the concentration of At is equal to a Kt plus 1 over the concentration of A0. Now, what do you notice the difference between this equation and the other ones? Well, you have the reciprocal of the concentrations of A, okay, same location but reciprocals, and it's a positive slope, okay, the slope is positive. So if we were doing our graph, on the y-axis would be 1 over concentration of AT, on the x-axis would be T, since it's a positive slope it would be pointing up, and the slope in this case will be equal to a positive K. Once again, linear line in this plot, it's second order. 
it will not be linear in the other two plots. If it's linear in one of the other two plots, it won't be linear here. It'd be curved. It's only going to be linear in one of the plots. And that's information that will be given to you in problems for you to determine which order it is. It may say, hey, this is a, it's linear in a 1 over a time, uh, at versus time um, plot, but it was curved in natural log of a versus time and also uh, a versus time. That tells you that it's a second order. Once again, I need units on k. mn ti minus 1, which would mean to be n minus 1 is equal to the negative overall order, which in this case we're saying second, so it's a negative 2. So n is equal to a negative 2 plus 1, which is a negative 1, which means my units are neg molarity minus 1, time minus 1. Once again, either memorize it or be able to figure it out. Homework 10 deals with zero and second orders. Once again, I caution you that you got to remember about the first order. Okay, you want to read the problems and be able to dictate which problem it is for you know which equation to use. Okay, don't, don't convince yourself that they're all the same type. You want to make sure that you know why you're picking which one to work the problem.